Today's lecture is basically the continuous of previous lecture. In previous lecture, we have gone through one example for design of baton system using bolt connections. Now, the same example will be carried out using oil connections. In case of oil connection, how the baton depth is going to change that will be demonstrated and then uh, how the oil length and uh, will be distributed and how the oil size will be obtained those things will be discussed through this example. Right. So, first part I will very quickly I will go through very quickly um, and the repetition whatever is there with the previous class I will just quickly go through and then uh, the oil connections part I will discuss uh, exhaustively. So, the example is same the a batten column of 10 meter long is carrying a factor load of 1150 kilonewton. The column is restrained in position, but not in direction at both ends. Design a built up column using channel sections placed back to back. These are common and now design batten plates using oil connections. So, before coming to this portion, uh, I will just quickly go through the design of batten plates, because in design of batten plates certain dimensions will be changed that we will see and then we will come to this. So, very quickly if we go through we will look that length is same that 10000 millimeter, load is 11. 150 kilo newton. So, required area we can find out by assuming certain design compressive stress that is 125 ampere. Then to achieve this area we can try with ISMC 350 whose relevant properties are given these are same what we have discussed in earlier class. Now, area provided is this and L by R z we can find out and we can check the effective planarness which is 10 percent more in case of batten is ok or not. And in this case we could see that effective planarness is, is 80.53 which is less than 180. So, it is ok. And for this planarness ratio and F y 250 rate of steel uh, we can find out the FCD value. So, FCD value we got 135.2 and the load carrying capacity as a result we can find as uh, 1451 kilo newton, which is greater than 1200 kilo newton. So, the chosen section whatever we have chosen is ok. Now, we have to find out the spacing between two channels. So, if we provide two channels back to back then we need to provide means we have to provide the spacing in such a way that the moment of inertia about y y direction and moment of inertia about z z direction becomes same. So, equating this I can find out the spacing as 218 whereas, we have provided spacing 220 mm. So, once spacing is decided now we can go for design of batten. So, as per clause 7.7.3 uh, we can find out the spacing between two batten that is C. C we could find out from the uh, condition that C by R y y should be less than 0.7 lambda as 1 5 9 5 millimeter and from C by R y y less than 50 mm we could find 14 15 millimeter. So, we can provide lesser of this. So, we can assume the batten spacing as 1400 mm right. So, now we will go to find out the dimension of the batten. So, for end batten as per the 
clause 7.7.2.3, we can find out the overall depth as this 220 plus 2 into C y y that is 270 mm. Right? So, overall depth we could find out. Remember, in case of bolt member means bolt connections, we had to find out overall depth from the effective depth. So, effective depth is the distance between extreme I mean center to center distance between extreme bolts right plus 2 e is equal to overall depth, but in case of oil connections we do not need that means overall depth and effective depth will be same because there is no edge distance right. So, here overall depth is becoming 270 if you remember the earlier case it was quite high the overall depth was higher. So, as overall depth is le uh, uh, less, so required thickness is also becoming less. So, 220 by 50 that is 4.4, 4, so we can provide 6 mm, right. Similarly, uh, so the batten depth and batten thickness has been changed with uh, means with compared to the bolt connections. Now, Now, let us provide the overlapping. So, suppose this is a column section and we are providing certain button. Say we are providing button here. So, this is the overlapping distance, right? This is D. Now, this overlapping distance we can assume. Say we are providing 70 mm overlap of buttons on flanges ok. And in this overlapping we have to check that overlap should be greater than 4 t that means 24, 4 into t means 6 mm here t was 6 mm we have considered. So, 24 mm. So, length of batten now will become 220 plus 2 into 70, 220 is the spacing between two channel section. So, this is becoming 360. So, the batten plate size becoming 360 by 270 by 6. Now, with compared to the bolt connection, we can see the batten size is becoming quite less in terms of length, depth and thickness. Three things are reducing, right. So, we can achieve the uh, means uh, from economic point of view, we can achieve the uh, lower cost for oil connections when we are going to provide batten member with oil connections. Now, in case of intermediate batten, we will means we will consider same that is 3 fourth of 220 plus 2 into C y y. So, that is becoming 201.6 which is more than 200. So, we can provide say overall distances at 220 mm. So, in this case the details of the batten dimension will be like this that 360 by 220 by 6 that means, we are keeping um, thickness same uh, because uh, uh, overall depth is not changing that much and length also is keeping same only overall depth we have reduced right. Now, design process. So, design process as we have calculated earlier here also we will get similar um, magnitude like 2.5 percent of the compressive force will be the design force. So, transverse shear will get 28750 Newton. Now, longitudinal shear we can get from this formula that is Bc by Ns, where C is equal to the spacing between battens that is 1400 mm, which we have calculated earlier. Number of parallel planes of batten in this case is 2, and S is the minimum transverse distance between the centroid of the bolt, bolt or weld group that is 220 plus 2 into 50. 
So, S we have this is we are considering 320. Okay. So, V L we can consider as V C by N S. So, 62891 and moment also we can find out V C by 2 N. So, 10.06 into 10 to the 6 Newton millimeter. So, this is same as we calculated in case of bolt connections. Now, we will check. So, checking also uh, we can see that uh, shear stress is coming uh, shear force divided by cross sectional area 270 by 6. So, this is becoming 38.82 MPa which is less than 131.22 MPa. So, it is ok. Similarly, bending stress we are getting 6 mm by 3 d square which is 138 MPa and permissible is 227 MPa. So, it is safe and similarly for intermediate button we have to check. So, for intermediate button the stress shear stress is coming 47 which is less than 131 and bending stress is coming 207 which is less than 227. So, it is ok. So, intermediate button and end buttons are ok from the stress point of view. Now, we will do the connections, we will go for the design of connection. Okay. So, if we do the connection we will see say this is the column member where 70 mm length is overlapped and we are providing 0 connection in in all four sides right oil connections in all four sides so now i have to find out izz and iyy right here as i provide in all four sides so cg distance will be the middle of this length and this length right so izz if i find I can find IJZ as 70 into T cube by 12 plus 70 T into this value is 220, 220 by 2 whole square. Right into 2 because 2 side. So, 70 into T cube by 12 plus 7 plus A r square into 2 plus T into 220 cube by 12 into 2. Okay. Now, I can neglect this value because T cube will be much less t is the thickness of the throat thickness of the weld here t is the throat thickness of the weld. So, if I neglect this value as it is negligible then I can find out the value of i z z as 346.5 into 10 to the 4 t millimeter to the 4. Similarly, i y y value also can be calculated. So, I y y value will be 2 into T into 70 cube by 12 plus 220 into T cube by 12 plus 220 into T into 70 by 2 whole square into 2 right. So, T into 70 cube by 12 that is 
i y y i am considering this so t into 70 cube by 12 this one plus 220 into t cube by 12 is this one plus a r square and into 2 because in 2 sides right. So, again here also I can neglect this value because the throat thickness t is quite less compared to other dimension. So, i y y value can be calculated as 59.62 into 10 to the 4 t millimeter to the 4. So, i y y value we have calculated like this. Now, to find out the stress developed stress at the extreme end of the weld, I have to find out the r the radial distance. So, that r will become 220 by 2 whole square plus 70 by 2 whole square right because if I see r will be r will be at the corner. So, this is uh, any corner because all corners will be same. So, this is 70 and this is 110 right. So, this is becoming 115 sorry this is this, this is 35 70 by 2. So, 35 and this is 110. So, this will become 115.43 millimeter and cos theta will become 35 by 115.43. If this is theta then cos theta will be this that is becoming 0 0.3. So, now direct shear stress say if I say sigma s as per clause 10.5.9 that will be the shear force 62891 we have calculated earlier by the um, cross sectional area of the weld area. So, that will be 2 into 70 plus 2 into 220 into t. Right. So, this is becoming 108.43 by T Newton per millimeter square. Now, shear stress due to bending moments as sigma b, I can find out. So, that will be m 10.06 into 10 to the 6 m by i p, i p by into r. Okay. So, here I p will be equal to I z z plus I y y right. So, I z z is 346.87 10 to the 40 plus I y y is 59.62 into 10 to the 4. So, this is becoming I p as polar moment of inertia as 406.49 into 10 to the 4 into t millimeter to the 4 right. Therefore, so I can find out the value of sigma b from this equation. So, if I put this equation, so here uh, stress due to bending moment will be 10.06 into 10 to the 6 into r is 115.43 which we have calculated that is the extreme distance of the weld by i p is 406.49 into 10 to the 4 into t. So, this is becoming 285.67 by t Newton per millimeter square. So, now combined stress I have to find out. Now, if I see I have calculated at this point 
the C S stress sigma s uh, uh, C S stress sigma s and bending stress sigma b. So, I have to find out the combined stress right. So, uh, this is not exactly uh, sorry this will be like this perpendicular to this I am drawing once again say this is the oil connection and this is the C G. So, this will be the bending stress and this will be the shear stress. Now, this is theta. So, this will be theta. So, combined stress will be this sigma r right. So, sigma r I can find out as sigma a square plus sigma b square plus 2 sigma r sigma b cos theta. So, if I put the value 108.43 by t plus 285.67 by t plus 2 into 108.43 into 285.67 by t square into 0 0.3. Okay. So, if I calculate I will get the value as 334.59 by t Newton per millimeter square. Right. So, the combined stress so resultant stress sigma r we got 334.59 by t which should be less than a few by root 3 gamma m w and this value will be 410 by root 3 into if I use shop oil then 1.25 gamma m w to 189.4. So, from this I can find out t as 1.77 millimeter. Right. So, T as one point. So, size of the weld I can find out size of the weld right. So, size of the weld will be 1.77 by 0 0.7. Okay. So, it is around 3. So, I can provide say 5 mm size of the weld right. So, provide S as means size of the weld as 5 mm weld right. So, this is how I can calculate the weld size right. Now, I can means I will see the detail design means diagram of the design as this. So, here if we see uh, the spacing between two channel section it was decided earlier 220 channel size was decided. Now, for uh, weld section we are using 5 mm weld size of the weld as 5 mm and this is the overlapping distance that is 70 mm and end batten size is 360 by 270 by 6 mm and the intermediate size is 360 by 220 by 6 mm and the spacing between uh, two battens are 1400 mm. Right. So, and we are providing four sides welding right. and overlapping is 70 mm. So, from this example what we have seen that in case of oil connections we have to maintain certain minimum overlapping distance and once overlapping distance is decided 
based on that we have to find out what is the moment of inertia of the oil connections uh, and uh, about z z and about y y direction then i will i will find out the polar moment of inertia i will find out the distance of the extreme weld and its angle of inclination from the cg of the weld group then i can find out the shear stress of that um, weld and bending stress of that point once i get shear stress and bending stress i can find out the resultant stress and that resultant stress should be less than the weld strength so from that i can find out the thickness of the weld and then i can find out the size of the weld so for that particular overlapping and for that particular uh, arrangement of the weld the size is calculated now size may be different if i change the arrangement of the weld okay so according to my choice i'll design whatever i will consider according to that uh, size of the weld be calculated and it will come right so this is all about the design of batten system considering weld connection considering bolt connection which i have discussed in earlier lecture thank you